to an unboxing video of one of the collections I will be working with for Fab Scraps. This is one of their new releases called uh, Pink Lemonade. It's C108. So let me show you what I got. The first thing I got was this set of stamps. This one says love, a dragonfly and a heart, a little birdhouse, a flower, choose to blossom and a feather. Let's see if that's any better. A lot of glare today. I got these, excuse me, easy peel off stickers. This is well done, me time, party time, too kind, you're the best, and happy days. I got one of the stencils. Let's see, it's this one. I got a leaf, some bees, and a nice tropical floral. I got this uh, mini album. It's in the, the leaf shape. There, fits in the camera better that way. And there are one, two, three, four, five pages, and it comes with the rings. Then there are several uh, wood veneer embellishments. Wild Thing, Home Sweet Home, Monkey Business, and Stay Sweet. These are perfect to snip out if you just want the letters, to um, ink, to emboss. These are, these are wonderful, and I like that they're not overly large, so they make very nice additions to your pages. And then here's the paper. This is Sunsets and Cocktails, C108001. I'm gonna turn it this way. So you see the flamingos aren't upside down. Flamingos and leaves and pineapples. And then on the back side, and I really, really like this edition. This uh, was new to me, uh, this collection was some journaling type cards or little things you could cut out for uh, card fronts or embellishments on your pages. Then this one is, let's see, Dreaming of Paradise, C108002. See the birds and butterflies in each corner. I'm getting in the way of the light today. And then this has a little bit of pattern to it, but not distracting. On the other side is a butterfly and leaf and flower. This is Feel the Serenity, C108003. You can see the two cans in the trees. And then more strips and embellishments or journaling spots or, you know, card fronts. I think this is this is a perfect addition. I really love that they added this to these collections. Then this is, it helps if I don't read it upside down, right? Distant Horizons, C108004. Flowers and birds across the top. And then the two cans at the bottom. And again, this very lightly patterned middle. On the back of this is a pink leaf. I really, really love this one. It would be great for layering. Then here is 
um, more birds, but these are, these are, what are they? Maybe some lovebirds, maybe a conure here, some, some lemons. Nice addition of the purple here. On the back side of this is more card sentiments or, you know, embellishments or journaling spots. I could see these cut out, you know, fussy cut this as a journaling spot or an embellishment. This is one of my favorite papers in the collection. I love the vibrant purple in this. Here's a hummingbird. There's a little bee. And on the back side of this is a uh, pink to purple ombre stripe. This one is Patterns of Nature. Did I tell you this one was All Things Beautiful? And this one was Awesome Beauty. Just gorgeous nature here. So tell me guys, do you love that these are on the back of the papers? So you have some more choices of embellishments and card fronts or card sentiments? Or do you like these when they are separate? I like when they're on the back here. So see I have two sheets. I like that I can use one as a full and then cut up one of these if I wanted without having an extra pack of embellishments. And then last but not least is Hues and Views. And this one has what I believe are some lemurs in it. Again, a design in each corner. There you go. And on the back is just a floral-esque pattern. See if you can get it closer to see. There you go. So that's what I got in the pink lemonade collection. I can't wait to get started with this one. Um, I have a friend who recently went on a cruise and I want to do some pages for her with photos of her and her husband um, with some of the birds that they visited and things like that. So I cannot wait to get started. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to attempt to answer them. Or if I don't know, I'd be happy to find out the answer for you. And stay tuned for what I'm going to create with this. And also be sure to head on over to the Fab Scraps site to see what all the other girls are doing as well. They, their creations will be posted on the blog. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.